Hello everyone, uh, today I'm going to make a video on how to directly use your PC to directly put games onto your Commodore 64 using the cassette, the, the external cassette deck uh, and some other accessories. I couldn't find a good tutorial on the internet for this, so hopefully this video will help some people uh, where I was unable to find one all-encompassing video for myself. So, uh, the first thing you're going to need is, of course, a Commodore 64. You're going to need the Commodore external cassette deck. You're going to need uh, one of these uh, headphone to cassette adapters. These go for about 10 bucks. You can probably get them at your local CVS or something like that. If not, you can get them on Amazon easily. And then on the software side, uh, you're going to need a Windows powered computer. This is a MacBook, but I have Windows on it and it works. And you're going to need these two programs, Wave PRG and AudioTap. So the first thing you're going to want to do is download these applications and open one up. There are two different types of ROM files for tapes that you'll find on the internet. Um, one is a .tap file and the other is a .t64 file. Uh, these applications can convert either into the right format that we're looking for. Uh, for demonstration's sake, I'm going to show you Pac-Man. So the first thing you need to do is open Wave PRG. Uh, yes, we want to open it. So what we want to do is convert a T64 file into a WAV file. So we click that. Uh, most of these settings are okay already, but make sure you select the right machine. So in my case, I have an NTSC C64 because I live in America. You want to output to a WAV file. And these settings are fine, except you probably want to check inverted waveform. Some people on the internet don't agree whether or not to use inverted waveforms, but for my particular C64, I found that inverted waveform works every time. And if you have some issues, uh, go ahead and uncheck that, and maybe that might fix your issue. So then click OK. We want to open the Pac-Man file. And we want to save it as pacman.wave. And I've already opened this once before, but I'm going to save it again. Yes, we want to overwrite. Um, oh, that's a mistake on my part. Hold a second. So I'll reopen it. And I'll just rename it Pac-Man 2. Let me click save. Okay, now we've created the WAV file that we're going to be using to put the program on the C64. Um, just to go back, if you have tab files, you're going to use another program called AudioTap. And this is very similar to the other one, except this time you want to check to a WAV file, check inverted waveform, click OK, and then select your tab files. Okay. So now that you have your WAV file, uh, go ahead and open it in Windows Media Player or whatever your player is. So as you hear, there's, it's very noisy. Um, this is what it, actually the C64 hears. Um, this is actually data being transmitted over to the C64. Um, it sounds like noise to you, but it actually is modulated data. And uh, what we need to do is we need to play that onto the cassette deck. So, take your headphone jack and plug it into the headphone jack on your computer. After you do that, you need to make sure you have the correct sound level, because volume actually does affect the signal somewhat. Um, what works for me is 25% exactly. Uh, you may have to experiment with this value, you might get some errors sometimes, uh, but this should work for the most part. Alright, so the trick here is that the tape player starts and stops at certain points. Uh, when it first loads the game, it will stop twice, and then finally after the second time it stops, it will keep loading until it's fully loaded. Uh, what you want to do in this case is that you actually have to work the cassette adapter and the playing of the sound file simultaneously. Uh, usually this, if you had a regular cassette, it would stop and start automatically, but in this case you have to do it manually. So first thing what you want to do is you want to make sure you type in load on the C64. And then hit return. As you see it says 
press play on tape. Alright, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to have to simultaneously hit play on this on the cassette deck and press play on the computer at the same exact time. And I'll know when to hit uh, pause on the computer side when the reel stops spinning. Um, I can't actually show some, both simultaneously because I have to have the timing down, uh, but you'll get the idea, and I'll explain when I'm doing it. So first I'm going to hit play here quickly, and I'm going to go over here and hit play on this side. Okay, so now I'm going to watch the reels and wait for them to stop. And I'll tell you when they stop and when I press pause. Okay, there's the first stop. So it's going to start momentarily. Now I press play again. Now I'm going to wait for the next stop and pause, I'm going to pause it again. Okay, there it is, the second stop. So up here on the computer, you'll see that it says searching and then it found Pac-Man Plus. And it's loading and it's waiting for me to press play or to run the game. So what I'm going to do now is type run. And as soon as I hit return, I'm going to have to press play on the computer side again. So I'm going to do that now. I'll have to put the, this down, but you'll get the idea. So I'm hitting return and play at the exact same time. So as you'll see here, the reels are spinning again. This is playing, and now we no longer have to wait for it to finish. Um, this actually works as a progress bar. As soon as it hits the end, then the program is fully loaded. Up on the Commodore 64 side, you can see a standard loading screen. And this is common for most tape games. Uh, you'll see this when it's loading. So when this is finished loading, uh, Pac-Man should come up and should, we should be able to play it. Okay. We're getting towards the end here. All right. As you can see, Pac-Man has started. Um, it has a trainer on it that allows us to use like unlimited lives and stuff. And let me actually work my way through that. Okay. So as you see, it has like an included unlimited lives. No, that's no fun. Is invincibility? No. Uh, level automatic level skip? Sure, why not? Yes. Okay. And there we go. There's Pac-Man. Let me go ahead and start it. <laughs> As you can see, now Pac-Man is working. Alright, let me turn it off. Okay, and as you can see, we've directly copied a game from the PC uh, using this adapter to the cassette adapter, which goes into the Commodore. And then with a few couple tricks and some patience, uh, you can directly run games downloaded from the internet from the Commodore, for the Commodore 64 on a real physical Commodore 64. Alright, thank you for watching. I hope this helped you, and have a good day.